to a quick tip of how to slice bell peppers. So the little thing I learned is just chop off the top here, just like that. And then you can easily slice one, two, three, four, and pull out this center piece and all the seeds come right out with it. And then if you want to pull out this little like white soft spot stuff, pull that out as well. And then you're ready to get slicing. This part's easy to slice too. You just pull out the center and then you have that to slice as well. All right, today we're going to show you how to cut a green. <laughs> As if the color matters. First, you're going to want to notice these ridges right here. You're going to want to cut along the peak of these ridges, like so. No flash. Front to back. Take your julienne peppers like so. And that's how you cut bell peppers. All righty, TikTok. The bell pepper, as you can see, also comes in other colors and green is the most popular bell pepper. Now, why does it come in such different colors? Well, that's because these are picked at different times during their states and that's how you get these different colors is they move into these, I believe it goes from orange to yellow to red or something, I don't fucking know. But uh, yeah, then you pick them. Then what you're gonna wanna do is cut the top off. Kinda like that. Now you, now, holy shit. So you've got that done. There are two different ways to do it. Basically, you just separate it like that. And I'll show you guys how I do it. So that's what you'll have. Another interesting fact about these is that these are all males, I believe, either male or female. I think the three is the male and the four is the female. But now that you've got that, you can basically take the core out and all the seeds and put them in the trash very easily. Yeah, boops, skadoosh, all the seedy things that you don't want. Oh, shit. And then all these all right, let me show you guys the easiest way to cut a quick pepper. Turn the pepper on its side, slice straight down, flip it, do the same thing on the other side. Now you've got this nice circle, you're just gonna cut in and roll the pepper, cutting away the membrane. Now you've got this beautiful ribbon of pepper, slice it into about four pieces. Cut each piece into strips, Pop out the stem. And just like that, you've got easy pepper sticks. Here, and we're gonna put that down on the cutting board. So then you know that there's like seeds in a pit in the middle. So what I try to do is just cut all around the outside of the pepper, avoiding those seeds best I can. One or two sometimes get in there and you just cut the peppers like this, and then you've got all your pepper cut, and you've got the middle that you could just dispose of. All right, quick, how to wash a pepper and cut a pepper properly so you're not wasting half of the freaking pepper. Okay, so you're gonna be cutting it from that point to that point to that point all the way around. So if you do this quickly, Okay. And safely. And safely. Yeah, that's very important. You want to be safe so you're not slicing yourself. Then you can just simply stab it and pop it out. There you go. If you bang it around a little bit, knock that off. And then what you want to do... Look in here. Look in roll it over. Oh, okay. Roll it over. You only got a minute here, right? Which kind of sucks. All right, so you're going from the center point, you're following these little lines here, and I'll show you just quickly why you do that. When you do that all the way around, what it means is that you can very quickly slice those out. Right? Hey guys, time for another TikTok cooking tip. When cutting a bell pepper, if you ever have a hard time putting your hand down here to try and get all the stuff to take out, try this. Cut your bell pepper completely in half. That way you have more of an opening to get all the insides out. Stop in the name of food. We have to cut this first. Start by cutting down the sides. Now 
Then clean out the seed so it looks like this. For slices, you're gonna go this way. You can either do it like that with, or like this. And for dices, you're gonna turn them and then just run your knife through that way. Then for this last little bit, same thing, just cut it. For this method, you're not gonna get perfectly even cuts, but it is gonna save you money because you're gonna utilize the whole item. Chop away! Wir zeigen euch heute, wie man eine Paprika schnell und einfach schneidet. Wir haben das Gefühl, auch unser gesamtes Leben falsch gemacht. Also wir schneiden nicht da oben quer rein, sondern schneiden in Halbkreisen von oben nach unten an den Seiten entlang. Optimalerweise schneidet man dann quasi direkt an dem Weißen dran vorbei und hat dann nur den Strunk übrig. Ich habe es natürlich vorführeffektsmäßig verkackt, aber am Ende sollte das dann so aussehen. Ihr habt nur den Strunk übrig und alles Gute abgeschnitten. All right, I'm gonna show you a trick on how actually how to cut these bell peppers perfectly. So you're gonna start kind of off to the center and then you're just gonna go down at, out an angle and come back down. All right, you see that? Then for each cut after, make sure your knife lines up with the inside core and split it right down it. So all right, it's kind of hard with one hand, but you see you just kind of go down and you split it and then you turn and split it again. There you go. And there's your core. And then here's all your perfect. <laughs>